Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for Aries star sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different level <clears throat> for every single different Aries in this planet so for that reason in this video I will uh, try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you got to align them to your personal situation and make the best sense uh, out of them so if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the examples in this video uh, you can check down my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, go for a, a personal reading so uh, that set aside we do have uh, the tree of wands here sitting on the prime position which is the uh, topic of your week then we do have the six of swords that it is about the core of the situation ten of cups that will be the challenge um, that is causing predicaments and the last card that is going to be judgment which is the guidance that Tarot is offering uh, to you Aries <clears throat> so by the look of it this is going to be first of all a, a week of growth that is because we do have the three of wands and that is a general card of growth either career wise or either relationship wise the card symbolizes that one is sitting on a, a very well established pattern so in other words whatever you have started in the recent past in a couple of weeks ago or maybe in a month ago uh, it is um, uh, quite solidified and well developed so you can continue on uh, exerting it further into the future um, either that is related with a, a suitor that you are chasing or a project that you are developing further or just plans with plans with your family how to spend the, the rest of the days uh, the rest of the holidays uh, <clears throat> that depends entirely on you I mean it does depend on your personal situation but it is very important when we do have the tree of wands also not to exclude the opportunity to place further challenges in front of our, uh, in front of oneself what I mean here is is that setting up a, a little bit higher goals regarding either our relationship or regarding either our career for even our for even the next year that is 2019 is going to pay off in a big time because the tree of wands is about a um, boarding on our ship so our ship came around and we are now to board on it so I do think that throughout this week December 31st to uh, January 6, 2019, it's very important, you Aries, is to uh, work on your plans, what you want to achieve um, through the course of 2019. Make your plan well, as, as I said, you know, sitting on a, a very well established patterns, and from there start conquering one challenge over another or one challenge after another and that kind of uh, resonates here with the six of swords sitting into a, a core of the situation so why this is happening the six of swords one needs to look at it especially in this position as a, a threshold so a threshold that people usually um, are afraid to, to, to traverse it if I may express myself that way why? Well, because something, I mean, they cannot foretell what is on the other shore. So look at it as the ship came around here, uh, but what awaits you on the other shore, what is the next field of conquering, is something that you Aries may not be able to foretell. And from there, it's, it comes the... Um, the fear of the unknown just to give you an example here if you are following the the example with the suitor all right finally you are establishing a good and solid solid patterns with that suitor you know start dating with them and etc etc and you are starting to realize that you are a little bit 
afraid you know to jump into more serious relationship with them because maybe uh, you know you haven't get to know get to know them better and you want to make a, a bigger research for yourself and etc etc so there will be some sort of a sense of fear uh, you know what what you are get get yourself into with all those uh, challenges that you are going to place in front of yourself and that is entirely that that is completely normal it is what I like to say but also the six of swords it is a card that shows that one already made the very important steps toward improving their circumstances so just from these couple of cards we can see that uh, whatever that challenge is it can only grow you it, it cannot take away things from you so in reality here there is nothing that you should be afraid of I mean, is that situation or is what you are going to achieve throughout, uh, through through your enterprise here, is, is it ideal? Well, if you don't try, you will never know, but definitely is going to be bigger than what you already have. So if we're following the example of the suitor, that suitor is going to be better one than the one you had before. If you go for a new job, the new job is going to be better one than the one you had before and so on and so forth. So it is important not to allow the fear of the unknown here throughout this week, especially when you are making plans for yourself and <clears throat> plans for what you want to achieve for yourself throughout the year of 2019. Uh, I, I mean the fear to petrify you of that, you know, of, of the unknown overall. The uh, Ten of Cups here into the challenges which are, which are causing predicaments from, uh, for you, it does point that it's going to be, it, it will seem rather risky. What I mean is that, imagine it like, uh, you know, one when one is um, chasing a, an achievement, one always have a certain safe heavens along the way like checkpoints like where or one can always withdraw you know withdraw themselves from the uh, from the problems and and uh, and from the predicaments just so one can reassess their strategy and etc etc the ten of cups into the challenges it does point that uh, it is unlikely that one is gonna have the safe heavens so uh, as as soon as you determine your goals uh, you should not or rather you will not have the opportunity to catch up your breath until those um, those achievements of yours are not reached to their maximum e extent it is just the ten of uh, the ten of cups here points that you are going to find it very difficult for yourself just to slow down the process once the process start and uh, of course through throughout the course of, of that one may start thinking of themselves, thinking about, you know, are is one or e are you, Aries, is happy of that goal that you have placed in front of yourself, or are you not happy of it? So just to give you, just to continue on the example here, as soon as you commit yourself with the relationship of that suitor, in case this is a suitor, uh, there won't be slowing down, you know, you cannot just say, well, I need, uh, for example, you're in the relationship and you say to them in a couple of weeks, you know, I need a little bit more time because, you know, I'm not sure in myself. That is not going to be an option. Well, it will be, uh, but not for you. I mean, that, that means that the relationship is going to most likely break. It is just you cannot step back from your word or from the path that you have consciously taken that's why we do have here a, a solid patterns and only thing that you need to count on from now on in this week and probably throughout the year 2019 Aries is, is only established and solid patterns instead of risking things uh, risking things with your approach and with unproven strategies and the last card that we do have about the guidance here, this is going to be the this is the judgment card, and the judgment card does represents a a different vision. So just to give you a, a better perspective here, one um, 
one is looking at a certain enterprise person project or undertaking in in a certain way and throughout this week for what it seems you're gonna see it in a different light and exactly from that different light it is most likely where you are to understand you know that in reality there is nothing you to be afraid of if you uh, <clears throat> if you initiate those uh, those patterns or those actions you have to make in order to take or to board that ship that came for you so your ship came around and you need to have a little bit of a courage and guts and the right vision here to uh, to board on it additionally the judgment card is about that fateful event you know it's like the it's like a wake-up call and that wake-up call is also related with um, with a different vision so uh, to give you a, a better example here uh, let's say that you recently started a project and you thought that this project is very annoying uh, it is not lucrative or it kind of doesn't have a future it isn't beneficial and etc etc and something throughout this week is gonna make you see it in a different way that actually that project does matter that actually can be lucrative thing it can be something that it is very beneficial same thing goes with a person for example you know someone tried to control you here and you didn't pay attention to them for one or another reason because you had certain criterias and throughout this week you may see them in a different light that actually this person does matter that actually this person can make you happy and etc etc what the judgment key what the judgment card here points is that you should not exclude any kind of uh, possibility in front of you so basically goes with the sentence never say never and literally for you this is the tar reading for for you throughout the week uh, Aries says it does look like guys that if you are open-minded and if you are not afraid from the unknown aka from growth because one grows through challenges one grows when one achieves new things which always involve the unknown and you need to know that you have already taken the very first necessary steps in order to do so you just don't allow the fear of insecurity here and of unpredictability to petrify you and not to allow you to move on forward <clears throat> so uh now we are going to the Lenormand reading here and the first card that we do have that is the bucket and the bucket it is like a present it, it, it represents as well benefits it does represent as well opportunities then we do have the paths and or um, the road and this represents choice basically or a two ways to do something like we said here you know you will uh, obtain a, a different perspective but as a, a guidance card you may completely ignore it that is just a guidance that is not something carved in stones and then the next card that we do have this is going to be the birds and the birds does represent gossips it represents as well social media or a phone call so what I can see here is that you are going to uh, see on an opportunity in a different way most likely through a, a social media or someone is going to reveal you the way of that opportunity through a, a phone call that is the event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid and um, it basically fits with the open-minded thing and uh, with uh, the uh, non kind of like the courageous actions that you need to take because you thought it or kind of like yeah you thought that you may not be able to do it but here a, a different path is open to your a, a different strategy is revealed to you so you can take advantage of it so that being said this was your tarot and lenormand reading Aries is for december 31st 2018 to january 6 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh again this was just a general reading for the Aries star sign and uh for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level and in a different way with every single different Aries in this planet or in this world 
Uh, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in this video, then you go for a personal reading and for a personal reading you can check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!